Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of retroplacental hematoma. A young married female patient came with amenorrhea for 9 months. She had history of lower abdominal pain and vaginal bleeding for one day. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see a normal fundal placenta. There is no definite abnormality seen. But when you magnify the image, you can see a very thin anechoic area at the anterior edge of this placenta. You may miss it without magnifying the image. This anechoic area is the hematoma. As it is a superficial area, you easily can evaluate this area with high frequency linear transducer. So let's jump into linear transducer. On linear transducer, you can see this oval shaped anechoic area at the retroplacental level indicates the retroplacental hematoma. So this is a very thin area, you may miss it. And if you put color doppler, there is no vascularity within this anechoic area, which excludes the possibility of retroplacental blood vessel. If you check carefully, you can see this area is not completely anechoic. Rather, there is a hazy stasis flow-like ecogenicity within it, indicating it as a hematoma. Here is the picture of the hematoma. It measures about 28 mm into 5 mm. And the volume measures about 1.5 ml. So, in summary, a 36 week sized single life intrauterine pregnancy is seen with cephalic presentation and adequate liquor. A small amount of hypotoanequi collection is noted beneath the anterior margin of the fundal placenta, indicating retroplacental hematoma. Now the take home message. In case of pregnancy bleeding, always try to use high frequency to evaluate the ages clearly, though for posterior placenta it may not be possible. In case of posterior placenta, you may magnify the image and try to evaluate the age of the placenta to exclude hematoma. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.